and you want to make peace? You want to give me 56 gold per turn for 30 turns? We'll s no, not, not instantly. I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of making the deal. Oh, go away. My people are not lazy. And first, Hephaestus makes a great and ma Right. Apparently, I'm losing money. I need to make some more money somehow. Field cannons. Yes, that will be handy. I wanted you to be right there. Which means you can't do anything more, that's fine. Thank you. You can be upgraded. And I can afford to upgrade you. Let's do it, because that's going to help out this situation rather quick. I can't upgrade you yet, but you're going to plunder that, which is also going to be quite handy, and actually I then can upgrade you afterwards. Sweet. Uh, you can't bombard there, so you're going to move to there and then bombard there. It's going to be a bit helpful. Okay. You still want me to go for a joint war against Alexander, and you, uh, you're giving me a fair amount of offer, but mm, no, I'm sorry, that's not really going to be helpful for me. I'm hoping this bombard's going to do a massive amount of damage to that wall now, and then it's going to be nice and easy to take the city again. I'd like to commit myself about heaven and hell. You see, I have friends in both places. Uh, first civic for a new era discovered. Sweet. Now, do I want to change to the theolo theocracy? I will lose one of the one of these. Which I do kinda of currently need, but I will gain the ability of one of these. Which I don't think will be all that handy right now. Uh, that would be somewhat handy, like three permission provides one amenity and a housing. I think we're actually going to be okay. We've got plus one housing per, si per level of walls, 50% influence points. Uh, plus 50% influence points. Influence points also is helpful. Uh, five religious strength then eh, oh, 15 discount. No, I think stick with monarchy. That's actually going to be helpful. That's actually even better. From building that, that's yeah. We'll stick with how we are. That's actually a bit better than I actually thought beforehand. I really need to get more trade routes going. I'm not going to get on the lines with another player this rate. How are you doing? You need some housing. Well, Granary's going to help you out with that. You have been put into there. I completed a quest for that. That's cool. So, Bombard goes first. Boom! Yeah, that's, that's going to be great. That's going great. And let's do that a little bit. The rest of you can... Can you do any damage there? You won't do a lot of damage. I think it'll be worth you just skipping a turn. Just like that thing needs to skip a turn. It's probably worth me doing that to kind of stop it from healing. Yep, that's a good idea. Stay on the alert. You need to be upgraded, but I need to be in friendly territory, apparently. Uh, is it worth going taking a step back? Sure. Because I think you can get yourself in like so. And then you can just heal there, you can upgrade. And that's cool. Okay. I don't know where I am at the moment. Turns into next era, 28 to 58. I am current score of 85. I need three more to get in out of the dark age again. Ah, and a trade route ended. Sweet. Uh, you can do that. That gives me an amenity. Good to know. 
next turn. Ooh, what happened there? Scout was attacked by an enemy carrier with zero damage. Oh, okay. What did you just build? You built the lighthouse. You can... Build some medieval walls because they are actually handy. Over here, you can get yourself onto there and heal. You've just done that, which means you might as well go and... Because there's no point doing that because it's not within workable tile range. That is, so you might as well build that. You've just completed a trade route to Muscat. Thank you very much. I think some down to Suza would be more beneficial right this moment in time. So do that. And first things first is... Boom! Why is that so loud? And then... Boom. 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 Thank you very much. That does say it's in theory going to keep its loyalty, so we're going to keep that one going. See how that one goes as well. Uh, so we'll repair its granary first. You are going to heal. Unit that is that. Is that sweet, sweet? I don't know what I'm saying. We'll see after what next, this turn if that's going to stay loyalty. <sighs> Transgest and understand the IOT. Our ideological differences are only the beginning. I cannot prove the way your government, your transgressed, misunderstand ideology. Okay. You're just announcing me because I'm a warmonger. No surprise there. Yeah, 79 gold per turn. For 30 turns. Can you, can you give me that? You'll give me the extra amenity, even though I have it. There's no point in me having it if I already have it. Huh. You say no, and then you say yes. Okay. We'll seat them. I will accept. For 17 gold per turn, that's going to work me out, work out really great for me, I think. You were denouncing me because I'm a warmonger? Yeah, no surprise there. But I have got rid of the guy that's doing the most problem for me, I think. And your loyalty is fine. Because you're not occupied or anything, are you? Sweet. Right, you have a promotion. Attack on that's what I want. I really think I need to... Get... I want to get rid of you. A free slot... For proper great work type. Writing. I need to look at my great works. That looks for a relic, 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 relic. I need more things for writing. It's fine, I'll get there eventually. But I will disconnect you and I'm going to move into there and then transfer you up to like here for now and then we'll see how we go from there. Because I'm getting bored of having you around. I don't think I really need you anymore. Fortify. You have a promotion. We are at peace. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. There's no point attacking just yet. We're in. So how's how's his loyalty? His loyalty seems to be going fine. 
yeah, I'm not likely to be breaking anyone else out of their loyalty in this area just yet, but we have bro broken the back of his area. I think I can get into him nice and easy to just take him out completely if I must. This guy over just came over to us somehow, randomly. Once it's... Uh... That's a cool tart start, yeah. Done growing, it will get probably... Well, this one, probably. Afterwards. Yeah. It's doing good. It's a good one. It's, it's a good city to just randomly appear over to us. And then there's one that over here I can actually probably do now. Could I do that? Could I possibly settle there in no problems? I could, if I wanted to. I might do that. And then I secure my areas a bit more. Your loyalty is not having a problem at all, is it? Yeah. Oh, hello. That wasn't quite what I was meant to do. How are we looking score-wise? Malaysian victory. I'm in third place. No one actually owns any other capital cities yet. Uh, Score-wise, it's Poundmaker at the top now. I've really crushed C Cyrus down. That's cool. Poundmaker is this guy here. So I do kind of need to get over and give him a bit of a punch. S as well as Macedonia. Is it Macedonia? Indonesia, my bad. They have a very strong sort of line here. So they're they're, they're these are both strong people. There, but the both the two other strongest, well, the two more, um, two most powerful or the mo more sco higher scored people are on my continent. So it's I have to do something about it somehow. The next one is Alexander, which is somewhat near me. The other. Cyrus has nothing anymore, which is has, is no, not important at all, pretty much. I broke him completely. Saladin, I don't even know. I only met you randomly because of that, and then it disappeared. Don't even know where you are. You're not really important, and neither is the other two players that I haven't even met yet. So, yeah. Science victory. Culture victory. They're the one with the most tourist output. I need to get 95. Well, surprisingly enough, he's the one with the most culture. Hmm, interesting. So if I was to actually wipe him out a bit more, in theory, I should take over his lead there. Domination, like I said, no one's lost yet. Religion, that's not going to happen anytime soon either. So I think science might be the one we have to go for. Or it might end up being culture. We'll head for a science, but culture might happen in the in in the accidental. Maybe, we'll see. Uh, but carrying on for another time or so. I literally. <laughs> I've just come out of a war. Seriously, I am impressed with the unique culture your people are developing. Really, really. Probably just because I've my, the unique culture that my cult, my people are developing. Yes, it's called overtaking your people, or overthrowing your people. Needs more housing. Yeah, they all need more housing and things. Yeah, you're just building it. That's fine. I really should make a push. I think on these guys, but it's going to be very difficult. Where are their capitals? How do I find their capitals again? Capital? City of Cree. Original capital of Cree. Thank you. That's a useful thing to know. Where's your capital? Your capital's right there. It's was, was it, is within grasp of me, so in theory yours is the one that I would need that's the one I'd need to take for any other problems. But then for the other these other guys it's that that I need to take if I'm going to stop them, in theory. How I'm going to get there, I don't know. I really need Jerusalem on my side, really. That's the only one they probably met, and that's why they're just... Because I can, if I can get that city, I have a nice clear through. 
through like if I can oh, stop doing that. If I take that if I take the capital of Cyrus, then I can have a nice clear furrow through to get to this city and then over to the capital of the Cree without having to worry too much about anything else. And then from that, the capital of Indonesia is all the way up there. Oof. Although that is a that is a coastal city, so if I get some coastal access, that's a good one as well. Just like that's a coastal city, which will give me a good standpoint over to here. Because it's not got a lot of defensive terrain around it. Okay. Well, we know where we're kind of going. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's just you. Uh, you can sleep there. So with that in mind, where do I want to kind of go? I think I want to focus here, don't I really? Because if I focus, if I just take that out, like I said, I have a nice clean, albeit a bit narrow, because it's got these two mountains in the way. It'll probably be only that passageway that I can get through, but it's a nice clean through there to that for my actual land units. Rather than having to go through water, although they can probably just go through water as well. It would help in that sense. Curious as to what they're trying to build there. So for now, I'm just going to leave everything I don't think kind of in place. But I have the bomb bars and things ready to go right on the edge here. Could probably do with another bomb bar, but. Right, so we've built uh, an actual thing now. Don't have a monument yet? That's terrible. So what can be built? So that can be built over there. That's probably useful to do. Move to there. Move to there. These archers probably should get upgraded, but they're more just defensive units at the moment. I don't really think there's any point doing anything with them. They're just backup sort of things. Oh yeah, I remember how it was. It was this is my fine. This is my like defense for like if anything was attacking me from that direction. It's not really going to be the case at all now. So it's not that hard to pull them back to St. Petersburg or. Solim Kamask, how you ever pronounce that? And I've got so many land units of my allied city states here, I shouldn't have a problem with that side. So, yeah, I think they're good there. There's not really much I can do with it. I think literally my next move will be to just take out this capital city and then try and move my way through to the Cree. Yeah, that's a major defeat. Because you're just a horseman, as opposed to like a knight, which would actually only have a stone knight. Interesting. But with that in mind, I can go around and clear it just before it actually becomes a problem, and then start to run away. Sneak in round behind and clear out the actual encampment before any problems. It's quite handy. It's fine, I don't mind you doing that. Right, you can build me some... You build me some ancient walls because it would be handy to probably build those things back up again. Uh, run yourself... back into the city, effectively. Uh. 
The dragging and clicking thing is kind of not good, but it's still happening. I'm just dry and clicking and dragging to move the camera, and it's still managing to click on things if I'm in the wrong spot. So if I do that and end up still, it's still doing that. If I was to do it like this, can I make it so that I end up landing on something? Nope, I haven't done it very well. Uh, let's try right here. There is a way it works, like that. Eh, it didn't happen that time. But yeah, it's still got that drag drop kind of problem. Renaissance Walls. Provides three tours and after runs to conservation civic. Plus 50 out of defense walls. It's probably helpful to have more walls on my capital city. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, you need to be repaired, don't you? Yes. Repair your out walls quickly. Walls, that's surprising. Ah, you need, like. Ooh, I have trading capacity. Build me a trader. And you can also build me, like, a trader quick. Because trading capacity is very helpful right this moment. down trees. That's interesting to know. You're fully healed. You can go back to Auto Explore. What was that? Avandar Dharma has been built. Seriously? Don't just got built that. Uh, I'm getting a great general. Uh, I'm just going to recruit you and instantly put you in a place where you can retire. And a place where you can retire is here, I believe. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, the Holy Book of Thantat has been placed in the Temple of Thantat. Gives me more error score. Cool. Uh, that. What is it going to be in that? I have six more turns. So on one more turn I need to denounce, if I can. Maybe not. Be very handy to just attack him straight away again, I think, probably. But then I would lose out on the money that I'm gaining from him, and that's a lot of money in that it's 79 for gold for per turn, and that's more than I'm currently earning, technically. Which means I kind of really need to build some more money things with like trading routes, which is what I'm building. And that's just really like weird. Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is it Completed the world's first technology from a new era. Sweet. Which means we are actually out of the dark ages for it, so that's good. Uh, banking will be very helpful, I believe. I have to say, this is going much better than my previous one. Housing problems, housing problems, it's fine. 
We're working on it. But with that being said, is there any policies that I can use differently? Mm. No, I think that's the best at the moment. Ah, I did that thing again. What are speaking of? They have currently no gold per turn. I did take all their gold per turn. So, yeah. I think what would actually be helpful is if I actually got... Indonesia to declare war on the Kree at the same time as me. But I need to get, like, some boats and things sorted beforehand, I think. Ooh, pedo. You want that for open borders. Sure, you can have that. As you have nothing else to give me. Tech boost for cartography. Which gave me a boost there, thank you. Barbarians have been spotted. Yeah, that's not really an issue for me. Yeah, though, is it? That's a really good defensive position of that. If it was from that direction, that's a pretty good spot for that actual thing. For this city, thinking about it. Because you have to go through that and then around the things for it. I never realised how well that was. Uh, medieval walls or that or... Amphitheatre. Commercial hub would probably be more beneficial, I think. And I think right there is gold. more roads. Even though I think the roads are already there, it's it's the trade posts instead. What are you up to? Are you trying to declare war on my city-states? If you do, that's not going to be a good idea for you. Just warning you now. You are currently above your housing capacity. Which means an aqueduct isn't a bad idea in this spot right here. Just to give you an extra little bit of housing capacity. Builder to get that silver would be very handy. I could probably purchase it to be fair. Let's do that. Because then I can go and purchase a builder. Because I do have a fair amount of money. Albeit that was actually half of it, but it's all good. Uh, what do we want to do? Do I take another one over to there? Get a direct route from that sort of area? Sure, go for that. That's the four roads at once. That's cool. Four tra tra trade routes in one going. Yep. That's a luxury that I really could do with. Because why not? Yeah. Build it over to that. 